I don't have to study another quarterback, you know what I'm saying? Because I've played Eli, you know, since my rookie year. So uh, that uh, that kind of helps, you know what I'm saying? Kind of kind of know what uh, what his mind thinks like uh, when different coverages and, and, and different looks. So, uh, uh, but as far as that goes, um, he's a guy with um, two-time Super Bowl MVP. You know what I'm saying? A veteran guy who's, uh, I mean, at this point, I knowing him, competitive guy, he's been waiting waiting for this turn. Doesn't turn the ball over a lot either. Yeah. Jones had a lot of, I think, 11 picks so far. You know, that going in, Eli's not going to make those kind of mistakes. Yeah, like I said, veteran guy. You know what I'm saying? He he knows coverages. It's uh, Sometimes it's really, really hard to try to disguise different things just because uh, he's been in the game for so long. He's seen so many looks, and he kind of knows it. So that, that kind of goes into his turnover ratio as far as, you know, throwing interceptions. It's hard to get him. What did you learn on film from watching your game last week with the Dolphins? Uh, I mean, that was a... That was a team who, uh, you know, they, they executed when their number was caught. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I think that was the biggest thing as far as, you know, um, us on defense and uh, even me, myself. You know, when your number's caught, you know, you got to execute. You got to make play. You have an extra day this week to, you know, kind of, I guess, let last week linger. How badly yeah. do you guys want to be out there and turn that page Monday night? Um, knowing this team, um, knowing me, um, very bad. You know, wish, wish the game was on Sunday. You know, we had to wait, like you said, extra day to Monday. I mean, but, you know, um, Adversity, you know, it, it makes you it makes you a man. You know what I'm saying? And this team, we've we've been through it before, um, and I think uh, it, it's right now it's, it's the perfect time for us. How has the team responded in practice this week? We had a great week of practice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as far as today, uh, man, yesterday, you I mean guys flying around, um, and I think we give credit to our, our practice squad guys. They've been giving us great looks, whether it's you know the offense practice squad guys and then me looking to the defense practice squad guys, giving just the offense and us, uh, like I said, defense really, really good looks. Cowboys are letting you hang around. I mean, you guys have an opportunity here with a, with a month to go. I mean, yeah, I mean, as, as far as that goes, the Cowboys, uh, I think our focus right now is just on the Giants. You know what I'm saying? Just try to go one and all. You know, we, we control our own destiny. We know that. But at the end of the day, uh, we got to win this one. Is there any first got word that it was going to be Eli this week? Yeah. What kind of thoughts go through your mind? Good thing for you guys, bad thing? How do you look at it? Um, I think, like I, like I just said, he's he's a guy who's I'm pretty sure he's been waiting for this, you know, for a minute. You know, what I'm saying he's a competitive guy. He's been doing it for a long, long time. Um, probably retiring that New York Giants uniform. So, uh, as far as that goes, we know we're gonna get his best shot. Does it help that you faced him a lot, or does it help, hurt more that there's a lot of Daniel Jones footage yeah. the last few weeks, and suddenly have to switch to Eli? He's only played twice this season. Um, I think as far as um, studying quarterbacks, it, it helps. You know, what I'm saying especially. Uh, in the secondary, because uh, you kind of know, you know, uh, how he thinks about, you know, certain looks, whether it's man, whether it's zone, whether you're playing up or you're playing back. So that kind of helps, you know, I've been playing him for three years now. Um, and I mean, like I said, it just, it just helps a little bit. Knowing how quick he delivers the football, what do you have to be aware of? Uh, like you said, he's, he's delivering the ball quick, you know what I'm saying? So we got to try to sometimes, you know, if we can knock off that timing and then just give him different looks. You know, it's, it's going to be hard because he's been in it. He's seen all, all every look that he probably possibly can see. But, you know, just try to hold, make him hold the ball for uh, another half a second so the D-line can get to him. 50-50 balls. Yeah. Like last week. What do you guys do about that? You expect everybody to do that, right? They're going to copy it until you stop it, right? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's the lead. You know what I'm saying? It's, like you say, it's a 50-50 ball. It's, it's either win or lose. Uh, but you got to execute when, when, it, when it goes up in there. Uh, yeah, our relationship is pretty good. Um, the type of running back room that we had was uh, just a bunch of talent to running back. So when I already got there, it wasn't just Saquon. Of course, there was other running backs too. So, uh, but uh, yeah, you guys know the story. You know um, how everything, how I expected everything to go, and it just didn't go my way. But uh, that didn't change the way I felt about him or anything. He's a he's a unbelievable player, and everybody knows that. The whole world knows that. Uh, nothing but respect for him. But. Like like, you, like I said, though, our relationship is real good. Uh, talked to him uh, earlier in the week, and it's going to be an exciting uh, game for us. Even though you didn't play until last year in Penn State, I mean, how much did you guys push each other in practice? I mean, he was saying that you helped him, and I'm sure he probably helped you. Yeah, yeah. Every, every single day, uh, I'm bringing the best out of him. He's bringing the best out of me. Uh, just anything, drills, uh, team, team practices when we go in team and stuff, uh, running certain plays, just seeing what he sees and seeing what I see, just seeing the difference and stuff like that. Uh, just really just, uh, we always do stuff after practice too, so it was always just me and him really just locked in, trying to get each other better no matter the circumstances. When you're in high school and you know, you're know you looking to go to Penn State and obviously you know, as a kid you're dreaming about you know, this moment, like Monday night, and 
know, I'm sure you guys have shared those thoughts, you know, when you're in school together. I mean, how special will it be on Monday night to you know, be on the other side from him? All the things you guys talked about in college. Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, real special. Um, I remember talking about this even like uh, before this even started when we had, uh, when I was just guessing on who I would end up being with. Uh, I told him if, if I end up with the Eagles, then we get to see each other twice a year. So that's going to definitely be special. But, but really, at the end of the day, um, I'll be pretty selfish to tell you that it's, it, it'll that I'm focused on Saquon. So for for I'm really just focused on getting this W because we got some stuff to handle and we got a we got a future ahead of us. Just depending on what we do these uh, last four games, so we got to handle business. But it's going to be fun. But I'm, I'm also focused on something else too. How confident are you going to get the offense going here? Uh, real confident. I mean, everybody's pretty locked in just like every week. You know, everybody feels confident. Uh, it's a primetime game. Uh, everybody's going to be watching. And we in all black. So <laughs> and it's going to be fun. And uh, just trying to make this run. This is week 13 coming up for you plus preseason. Uh, how are you holding up physically? It's kind of deeper into a season. Yeah. Play. Uh, I'm good. You know, mentally good, uh, physically good. I'm still going. Um, you know, all the vets talking to me, just making sure I'm straight mentally because it is a long season, my uh, rookie season. But although I'm, I'm in good spirits, I'm, and I'm good. The Dolphins were a 2 1 team last week, and we know what happened. What are the lessons you take preparation wise this week, maybe from what happened last week? Um, what do you mean by lessons? Just, just in preparation wise, did, did maybe things you want to work on mentally to get ready for a team that may not be a top of the division team. Uh, just be ready for anything. I mean, uh, they they can just uh we're, they're they're the uh, let me watch what I say <laughs> uh just just be ready for anything uh, as far as like trick plays uh, onside kicks all that type of stuff because they could be that could be the uh, type of game it is because uh, to be honest um they really don't have nothing to lose right now so but uh, yeah just be ready for anything. Hey Miles, it looks like you'll be here a long time. Obviously Saquon's probably gonna be there for a long time. Is, is this a matchup you're looking forward to kind of twice a year, every yeah. year, these next few years? Uh, I hope I'm here for a long time. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I look forward to every matchup. I mean, especially I, I know how this game means to all the Philly fans and, and Philadelphia itself. So um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I, I'm excited. It's my first Monday night game, so it's gonna be fun. How much better do you feel like you're seeing things now than earlier in the season, as far as just reading holes and, and hitting them and being decisive? You feel like you've come a long way. Yeah, yeah. Especially, especially in the running game. Um, I feel like I've been getting better and better each week, and everybody's been telling me that, but. Most importantly, I've been noticing that myself and just trying to get better and build off each week. And uh, yeah, I feel more confident just as far as uh, reading who I'm supposed to read, get my eyes in the right place, and feeling everything else, and then just playing ball out there. In a typical no, I, know you said, I know you said like earlier that you're focused on getting the win and all that, but will there be a part of you just kind of like wondering, you know, taking a look to see how he's doing, or part of you wanting to show that you can outperform him and stuff like uh, that? Honestly, no, not really, because. Uh, we, I mean, we got four games left, and we we got to win these four games to get into the playoffs. So, man, for my rookie year to be in the playoffs, my rookie year, I think that would be pretty special. So, um, that's all, that's really all I'm focused on. But it's definitely going to be fun playing against Saquon. Don't get me wrong. In a typical a game, more from in a typical game when the opposing offense is on the field, are you watching them? Are you watching the screen? Are you just kind of talking to? To uh, and yeah, about time, right after our drive, I'll, I'll be talking to Deuce, see what he sees, uh, going through like the paperwork and, and the uh, pictures and stuff. But yeah, I'm definitely watching the game, uh, either on the double channel or uh, standing up, uh, watching on the sideline. He what? said that his his kind of favorite story with you was um, I don't know if you got asked this or not. Uh, his last year there, going into the Nebraska game, oh, yeah. he was hurt. Yeah. And he said that he he. He, he, he wanted to get back because your time was coming next year. He wanted to kind of move more time. Do you remember that? that yeah, week? yeah. I do remember that. Um, I think the whole week he had, like, back problems. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> he had, like, back problems. He, he didn't practice. He didn't. He was in the uh, training room the whole week. Then everybody's in my – getting me ready like I'm going to be starting. So, And I, I, didn't, I, remember, I remember I didn't tell nobody. I didn't tell my family because you never know. Sure. Uh, that's Superman over there. And then <laughs> – he, he gets he gets the uh, start and he takes one 60 yards. I'm like, yeah, his back's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he said he wasn't ready for the world to see how good you were yet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll take one more if we have it. What, what do you think this will mean you know, for Penn State to have two starting running backs, Monday Night Football, primetime? I mean, what do you think that means to the school you know, 
mean to take? Oh, it's, it's RBU. It's RBU. That's all I can say. It's RBU, man. Uh, any anybody uh, considering Penn State as a running back, man, come, man. Come, they're going to eat. Go get here.